Joe in Cupertino, California, presumably one of your constituents. Joe, you're on the air. Good uh, morning, gentlemen. Tom, thank you again for allowing me to speak to the congressman. Just real quick, yesterday you had a call from a gentleman from South Asia. It was very difficult to understand. He was trying to articulate the uh, situation in the Kashmir region. I was wondering if Congressman O'Connor, who has very personal information about that, could explain to me better because I'm very confused. I think that there is potential for a conflict in this part of the world, and I don't think that this country should really be involved because we don't really have any moral standing in the world anymore, but that's just my personal opinion. Okay. I'll take your answer off the air. Thank you. Thank you. Well, India and Pakistan have been in, oh, at uh, two wars uh, over Kashmir, and uh, th there's concern of escalating uh, rhetoric uh, uh, in the, in, uh, the subcontinent, uh, and I think the role of the United States should play is to continue to call for uh, dialogue and ratcheting down the rhetoric uh, and, and, and peace. Uh, but uh, I'm not convinced that having Trump uh, mediate uh, is going to do anything. In fact, I think that may have precipitated the crisis when he said that the Indian prime minister had asked him to mediate and then uh, the Indian prime minister denied that. Uh, and uh, I think that led to a, a cascade of events. So. Uh, my sense is that what we should say is that the party should sit down uh, and try to resolve this and stop uh, the ratcheting of rhetoric. My understanding that the, this fellow who called in yesterday said, no, you've got it wrong, was that Kashmir, as a consequence of this history, Kashmir had been running as more or less a semi-autonomous region with its own internal systems of governance with kind of oversight from India, I suppose you could say. And uh, that they've been that India has cut them off from the world. They've cut off their internet. They've cut off their phone service. They they have uh, diminished Kashmir's ability to govern themselves. Now, now he said I'm wrong about that, and I may well be. I do not know very much about that region. What what is what is actually happening there right now? Well, I would want to, to, to get the facts too. I I, I think that uh, the my understanding is that uh, there's part of Kashmir that's uh, in Indian territory, and then there's part of Kashmir that's in Pakistan territory, that the mm. part that is in Indian territory, India uh, has exerted uh, control over, and originally it recalled for a plebiscite, but India had amended the Constitution uh, to allow for the governor uh, to uh, be able to say that they want to join uh, the rest of the state. And so I think there's a constitutional debate within India about uh, whether they have that power or not. Of course, the parliament voted overwhelmingly that they did, and now it's going to go to the Supreme Court. Uh, the, everyone hopes and wants that uh, uh, the, they respect uh, the, the, the human rights of uh, uh, people in Kashmir, even if they believe that the process is, uh, is legitimate. Uh, but I don't think that it was semi-autonomous. I mean, mm -hmm. that has never been uh, my understanding, though I, I will say I'm not an expert on the region. Yeah.